In our next installment of Jason Nash's Most Toxic Relationship, we have their ninth collaboration on Jason's channel which was entitled, One Night in David's Apartment. An interesting note to make here is that this video eventually received over 1 million views, likely due to David Dobrik's name being in the title and his photo being in the thumbnail. All the other collaborations with Soli Trisha only received hundreds of thousands of views, mostly on the lower end. And that's after years worth of viewing, which means they were even lower before. The reason we're making note of that is because Trisha accused Jason early on, as you heard, of using her for views. Yet he wasn't receiving very many from her. And the majority of his views were coming from his association with David Dobrik, not Trisha Paytas. Even in this video, her name isn't even mentioned in the title, and she's only one of many faces in the thumbnail. This is one of their highest viewed video collaborations from the earlier stages of their collabs. So, again, it was David that was bringing in Jason's views at this point in time, not Trisha. Now, this video was uploaded less than a week after their last, and in this video Trisha was not the main subject. Jason's friends were. However, the video does begin with her, and in the beginning we start with Trisha commenting yet again on Jason's weight, which she does often pointing out how thin he appears to be. And while she seems a little disappointed, and perhaps self-conscious due to this, when she delivers this information within the first couple of seconds she changes her tune and begins to compliment him for it. Which you can see makes Jason happy, as he proudly shows off his frame. What do I look like? You look so skinny. I look skinny? Mm -hmm. It's because I have black jeans on. Your waist looks like a 32 right now. You look like a model, you look super hot. No, you look like a model doing, at Macy's. I've been doing um, bar method. I've been doing a lot of balls. That's what it is. Wow. Wow. Jason then defends his weight loss by stating that he has to stay in shape due to his age, because if he doesn't he begins to deteriorate. To which Trisha replies telling him that he's not old. Funny how she claims the opposite nowadays, by acting like he's an ancient artifact and always has been now that he no longer chooses to be in her life, but during this time he was apparently young and vibrant in her eyes. The thing is, is like, I have to stay in shape because if not, I literally, my body deteriorates. That's how old I am. Really? No, you're not old. No, if I don't, like I went to the chiropractor and he was like, if you don't exercise, he's like, you're done. It's a little odd that Jason feels the need to justify his weight loss, because it almost comes off like he owes Trisha an explanation for it. But the subject of his weight is quickly forgotten when the two spot Jason's friend Big Nick, who they have trouble getting to. Oh, there's Big Nick! Does he see you or no? Yeah, he sees me. Oh, he can't get in either. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> He's whipping. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Trisha coming into contact with Big Nick is noteworthy, because on Frenemies Trisha claimed that her and Big Nick had never met and never crossed paths. No, and that was like crazy to me to like see because we're all uh, keep in mind me and big nick and seth and everyone we never like we weren't crossed so like all our stories are like similar but like no one right. ever crossed paths with each other but we'll dive deeper into that lie another time but not only did she lie about not crossing paths with big nick she also lied about not crossing paths with seth who you can see here with big nick in this collaboration it's gonna be a regular night down at the apartment. That's gonna be my vlog. <laughs> I figured it out. Hey, put your vlog camera down. I'm vlogging. <laughs> put your camera down. I'm vlogging. <laughs> What's up? We were we were enjoying your dancing. I hate it, man. Yeah, I hate coming here. Yeah. I can't wait till they move, dude. So all three did in fact cross paths, and on more than one occasion. Here you can even see Trisha talking to both Big Nick and Seth with Jason, but they hadn't crossed paths, right? I know, man. This place sucks, dude. I was here, like, when David first lived here, right? You were. And I hated it from the start, and then I got robbed here, like, oh, yeah, two yeah. minutes away. And now I'm just, like, stuck in a elevator, a hot-ass elevator. It's hot and stuffy in here, and, like, I just want to be home, asleep, but, like, I can't. Fuck yeah, and you're speaking my language right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like an old man now, you know? I just want to be in home with my kids at 10 p.m. and just... Go to sleep, you know. Trish yeah. films by herself. Mm -hmm. I never film with anybody. She doesn't work really? at she doesn't work at night. Just stay in your house all by yourself all day every day. I wish I could do that. Shit. I mean, I do anyway. But she yeah. she has all that though. We don't we don't we don't we don't we don't have that. Yeah. yeah. 
Now in this video you get a little insight into Trisha's dynamic with David Dobrik, who you can see instantly greets her with a bit idea. David tells Trisha to make Jason and David's friend Jonah uncomfortable by telling him that she wants him. Trisha asks David if she wants him to sleep with Jonah or just say it, clearly excited for the bit. Clearly excited to make Jonah uncomfortable. Which David makes it clear as his goal. Trisha, I have an idea. What? When you walk up there, uh -huh. Jonah's going to be like, I want you right now. Let's go in the back room. Let's get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or just say it. Just pretend that you're going to. Just so he's really uncomfortable. Okay, okay. This is interesting, because the way Trisha framed her time with David on Frenemies was being against his behavior and disgusted by how uncomfortable he tried to make people, including herself. Yet here she is excited to partake in someone else's discomfort. And at this point she barely even knew David, so her stands can't argue that she was brainwashed or misled by a friend. Remember, Trisha and Jason were not even dating yet, and were only hanging out as it was the beginning stages of knowing each other. Now once in the apartment, Trisha immediately jumps into action targeting Jonah by hanging all over him and making him feel visibly uncomfortable. As Jonah tries to disengage and run away, she continues to put her hands on him and pull him back, insisting that they should hook up. No, wait, wait, why am I looking at Jason? No, 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 Jason no. doesn't want me, that's why I was like, I was thinking, oh, well, you're Max, so oh, I was like, oh, wait, this is weird. <gasps> what the f*** is going on? What? Oh, going on? No, Did you just get swooped on by Jonah? You bastard! <laughs> Dude, Joe, no, let him no, be, no, Jesus. No, 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 no